just wanted to share with you one of the, the things I think that's really important for a guy getting into doing some long range shooting is a, a good quality level on the, on your scope or on your gun. This is a Accuracy First uh, development group, I believe, uh, is the, the company that produces this particular level. What I like about this level, it has a ceramic ball in it where most of you had that trapped air bubble in it and it follows gravity. So if you can it left, the ball goes left. You can it right, the ball goes right to where a bubble level is opposite. You move it left, it's gonna shoot right and it's a coarse adjustment. It's it's not near as precise where you see the lines that are are set off down through here. That's two and a half degrees of of cant on each line. So you could actually sub ten that even down in between it, uh, you know, by just half and that and half. And then you have your center line that's machined in. I I picked this one up in Cerakote. Uh this is 34 millimeter tube, so I ordered the 34 millimeter edition and it comes with 30 millimeter inserts so you could actually use it on a 30 millimeter scope tube so it just makes sense to me to to go that route with this one it uh it's one of the best ones i think it is the best bubble on the market as of now that i run across i know there's other ones and different ones but most of them if you'll see it they'll have a line here like again and a line there and your bubble is sitting in here you know and some people say well it's not responsive enough i mean it's I'm barely moving that thing and it's it's moving one way or another and I've got my my cant on my bipod set pretty tight to where I can move it and it'll hold uh, but I've run this same bubble on a I've got a LaRue OBR and I run it on that I've got another Mark 6 matter of fact just like the scope and I like it I like it because when you're behind the scope and you're looking in your tube all you have to do is look up with your left eye there's no raising your head up to check a bubble over here because it's set off to the side so your left eye picks it up. So if you're a right-handed shooter, it works out really good. I believe they have left-handed models coming out. I, I believe I've seen something on that for it. So for your left-handed shooter guys, uh, just hold in there. And uh, they make, this is a civilian edition, but they make a military edition that has a trinium vial insert in the back of this. There's a rubber piece that just pops out and they'll put that vial in there. You can actually get online. I believe there's a company, it's like out of Taiwan or somewhere that sells the trinium vials in there for nighttime shooting. But you gotta be LE or military to be able to purchase one of them. Why, I don't know. I'd like to have one just for doing like, if you get into doing nighttime competition shooting or whatever. And uh, it, it's definitely an aid in to the times, you know, it. people don't realize it, but you know, can't is a big thing. You see it at 100 yards, will you see it? No, probably won't. It's 300, it'll start showing up, you know, and out further. And what guys will actually do a lot of times, shooting out further distance, they will compensate for can't thinking it's went by adding wind to it. And it's actually not. It's just because their scope's canted. And I can't remember what it is. It's like for every two degrees of can equals like point something of a meal. I, I can't remember it. You get on out at distance, of course, it's magnified. So, uh, to a canned uh, gun left or right is a, a huge deal. And uh, I think that's one of the things I like this this uh, level better than any of the others I've seen out on the market and, and have used on other guys' guns. I just, I think it runs right at about $100. You can get black. I think it comes in coyote. It comes in some other weird colors like almost like a tangerine orangish color. It's weird. I don't know why you'd want it, but anyways, I, uh, it's pretty quality built. I like it because I have it set the way you look to tighten everything up. It's right here, and then on the other side, you can get an Allen wrench in it. And, uh, but uh, if you're looking for a level, highly, highly recommend it. I think they're the best on the market that I've seen as of to this point. And my other one has served me well. Never had any problems with it moving or anything. I actually camouflaged it because I think it was black. I couldn't get the Cerakote at the time, so I just painted it and taped off my bubble. But just thought I would uh, throw that tidbit of information out there. I think it's, uh, it's worth the money. If you're going to invest into a rig like this, I mean, what's another $100? Especially that's something that's very big and uh, 
into uh, ensuring you uh, an accurate shot, especially if we're going to do some long range shooting and, and hunting, especially. I think you owe it to the animal. Uh, you know, maybe I just shoot steel with this, but I'm not going to say I wouldn't be out. I have taken it deer hunting before. I'm trying to make some maybe some longer shots that if I had a field or something, I was going to stretch it out. But if you guys are looking for it, I think you would be very well served by, by giving it a try. I just thought I'd want to share if anybody's curious about it. This is my second one. Never had any problems with the first one. And yeah, I know most levels you can buy on the market are, you know, 30 ish dollars. You know, I would just, pony up the money it's a bill if you, to me if you're gonna buy anything worth anything nowadays you, you, yeah, that's about what you're gonna spend and add up but anyway guys we'll see you later